Welcome everybody. Today we want to learn a lot of things about the rate of reaction. The rate of reaction is affected by different factors. One of these factors is temperature, concentration, surface area, and the catalyst. But today we want to learn a lot of things about the surface area. So let's start. Let's study the effect of surface area on the rate of reaction. As we see, if we split the solid into several pieces, the surface area increases. What will happen as a result of increasing the surface area? Increasing the surface area leads to increase the exposing areas of the reaction, which means increasing the rate of reaction. And it enhances the collisions between the particles. So we have the same amount of substance in here. We divide the substance or we split the substance to small pieces and small pieces to smaller pieces and smaller pieces and further. The smaller the pieces, the larger the surface area. And this means more collisions. More collisions means more faster rate of reaction. And now guys, let's just imagine how the surface area affects the rate of reaction. As we see, we have the same amount of the substance. I mean, we have the same mass of this green substance and we have only one mass of the green substance. The four pieces are equal to the mass of this one here. But in here, we'll be counting the number of collisions. So what will happen? Let's count it. As we see, the number of collisions increases when the larger surface area is done. The larger surface area of a solid reactant, the larger the area with which dissolved particles can collide. This increases the frequency of collisions and so increase the rate of reaction. And now guys, let's investigate what will happen to the mass of calcium carbonate and how to test the surface area or let's say the effect of surface area experimentally. This investigation will be done by reaction between calcium carbonate and acid. Marble chips are made of calcium carbonate. They react with hydrochloric acid to produce a carbon dioxide. According to this equation as we see, calcium carbonate reacts with hydrochloric acid forming calcium chloride, water, and carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide is a heavy gas, which means as a result of a production, this gas, the mixture of reactants, start to decrease. This experiment will be using two kinds or let's say two forms of calcium carbonate. We have small lumps and let's say large lumps of calcium carbonate, which means we want to use the calcium carbonate in a large surface area and small surface area. And at which of these surface areas will the reaction become so fast? What equipment do we need to make this experiment for investigating the effect of surface area on the rate of reaction? For sure, we want to bring a flask or a conical flask with a con wall and balance hydrochloric acid and calcium carbonate chips. Calcium carbonate will be in small sizes and big sizes just to investigate the effect of uh, surface area in this reaction. You ask me why do we need to use the con wall here? We do that to prevent the spitting of liquid inside the flask to outside and allow only carbon dioxide to escape through the con wall. As we see, these are the marble chips. Okay, you can see like they are made of calcium carbonate and they have different sizes or they are in form of lumps. So we're gonna make um, a pure free reaction with these lumps with hydrochloric acid. In this experiment, we will investigate the effect of surface area and the rate of reaction. So we will take large lumps of uh, marble chips okay and we want to take equal amounts or let's say equal masses of them okay so here we collect the large ones and the next speaker we want to take about 20 gram of marble chips but in smaller sizes after adding small sizes of calcium carbonate it's time to add a fixed volume of hydrochloric acid and then we place a con wall plug into the neck this stops the liquid from spinning while allowing the carbon dioxide to escape begin taking mass readings straight away and continue until there is no further change in the mass taking the reading of mass will be along checking the values of time. 
so we need a stopwatch. And then we repeat the same experiment using the same mass of calcium carbonate but in a larger chip size. And now, it's time to collect these data, I mean the loss in the mass of the reactants or the mixture versus the time. And then we draw the graph of the two experiments when we use the small pieces and when we use the large pieces. Now look at the graph. And now guys, it's time with how to deal with the collected data and how to represent them in a graph. The y-axis will be for the loss of reactant mass in grams. And for sure, the x-axis will be for time. Okay. We use first the marble chips in a large size. So you think that the surface area will be lower. Okay. So what will happen when we draw it? As we see, the reaction starts at zero point and the reaction ends at the fifth minute. The overall mass was collected of carbon dioxide was two grams. But what happened? if we use smaller chips of carbon dioxide, which means larger surface area, which means larger collagens, or let's say more collagens, which means higher rate, will the curve become steeper or less steeper? For sure, the reaction will be steeper, especially when we use smaller chips. When did the reaction stop when we used small chips of calcium carbonate? We start here when the curve goes flat, and then we just do like perpendicular line to the x-axis which was four minutes so the smaller chips take less time than the larger chips so this is for the larger marble chips and this is for smaller marble chips so if you compare the time um, of reaction when we used smaller chips and larger chips we notice that when we used the smaller chips the time was four minutes only and whereas when we use larger chips of calcium carbonate, the time of reaction was 5 minutes. Uh, when we used the smaller chips, the reaction took less time than when we used the large chips. We have to put in your mind, calcium carbonate is the limiting reactant. And this is why both of them, when we use the smaller chips or let's say large chips, the overall loss of carbon dioxide was 2 grams. So my question, what is the rate of reaction when we use the smaller chips, for example, you say like the overall loss was 2 grams and the smaller chips reaction, let's say, ended at the 4th minute, 2 over 4, which equals 0 0.5 grams per minute. The rate of reaction we use larger chips will be 2 over 5, which, which is equals to 0 0.4 grams per minute. Okay guys, if you have any questions, you can ask me in the comments below. Have a nice day and again, stay home. Stay safe.